Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be a candle haul. Now, I haven't done a candle haul in quite some time, but when I like to do a candle haul, I love to buy candles from my friend Melissa at 1820 House or 1820 Company Candle Company. Now, if you've seen my channel and been a subscriber for a long time, well, welcome back. If you're new, my friend Melissa at 1820 Company in East Palestine, Ohio, makes some of my absolute favorite candles ever. I found her about eight years ago now, it's been a long time, at a little craft fair in Ohio and fell in love with her candles and we've been friends ever since. I love her. She comes to me for questions on what's popular, what's trending. I come to her for what's up your sleeve, what's new, and we just have an awesome connection. But as you know, with life and schedules, it's just really, really hard for me to get out there. It's only about an hour minute drive from where I live. But when I do have the time to go, I always love to go in person to see her beautiful store. Now, it's in the middle of, like I said, East Palestine, Ohio. It's a very old town, and the name 1820 comes from her home that she lives in, built in 1820. Now, I'm going to insert some clips of the beautiful candles in the store. They're all made with a vegetable wax blend, and they're all very pure, inspired by nature fragrances for the most part. She has three different lines. She has the Rust Belt line, the Signature line, and the Beat Elixirs line. I have some candles here from all of them. And full disclosure, I did purchase all of these candles myself with my own money, including the t-shirt. I just want to share the love with you guys on here. And speaking of love, it is Pride Month. And she's offering a Pride candle. And she is donating a percentage of the proceeds to the Trevor Project. Now, on the card here, it says, We choose love every day, every year, for life. Each year, we choose a candle to honor the LGBTQ plus community and awareness as well as showing support to crush racism. A percentage of the proceeds from your generous purchase of Love is Love Baby candle will go to benefit the Trevor Project. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Trevor Project, the Trevor Project is an American nonprofit organization founded in 1998 focused for suicide prevention efforts among lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, and questioning youth. So your purchase of this candle will go towards the Trevor Project, which is just incredible. And, and now I also want to add another thing we talked today, and I'm actually going to be giving you guys a coupon code. Use the code DREW10 on her website, and she uses Shopify, so it's super easy to purchase. You'll get 10% off your order and free shipping over $75. So that's a little treat from me to you. It is not an affiliate link. I will not receive commission or credits or anything like that from the purchase. I just wanted to share the love of the candles with you guys and to show her how much this candle community means to me, how much my fans and my subscribers also mean to me. I love you guys so much and I want you to support local businesses just as much as I support the local businesses. It's really important to show the support, especially in times like this. And her candles are incredible and I have a wide variety to share you share with you today. So without further ado, let's get into it. I feel like we should start with the Love is Love Baby Candle. So this candle is beautiful. It's a nine ounce uh, white ceramic jar with lid. All of her candles are white wax. They burn super clean, no soot, no smoke, and give a really nice generous throw, in my opinion, in a smaller room. You definitely can't put one in like your entire living room will be scented. I love her candles more for the bedroom or the bathroom or a spare room or the kitchen. Or if you're going to burn them in the living room, burn too because they are pure fragrances, so you're not going to get that insane throw from some like artificial fragrances. But anyway, the Love is Love Baby is fresh citrus, pink berry, rosé, prosecco, sea salt, and sass. And I have a lot of sass. This fragrance, it's very citrusy, but you really do smell that rosé in there. It adds that really fresh, effervescent fruitiness to it. Now, I don't think it necessarily smells like alcohol, but it definitely gives you that fruity, effervescent vibe. I love this. It's perfect for Pride Month. has the little pride flag on it. Like I said, it donates to the Trevor Project, which is awesome. And you're also going to get that 
on your entire purchase if you purchase today or through Sunday. So today's the 13th, I believe it's Sunday the 19th. I'll put the exact information down below for you guys to shop, but oh, love this scent. Super excited. I bought two of them today because I want one to burn and one to save. They're awesome. Now, she has a line that I just feel such a special connection with, and it's called the Rust Belt Collection. Now, the Rust Belt Collection is really interesting. There is the Rust Belt um, Center. It's like New York, Ohio, Pennsylvania, where all of these industrial workers would drive through. So each fragrance is inspired by the Rust Belt. And this is my favorite. This is Fresh Water Sea. Now I did pick up two. I got her standard size, which is the nine ounce. And then I got a jumbo 17.5 ounce. She's in the middle of rebranding. So this is actually the new branding. She does have some white ones. I believe they're still on the website. I'm not hundred percent, but definitely check them out. But I buy Fresh Water Sea. Every time I'm there, it is sweet, aquatic, a little bit of like a sea salt, but it is beautiful. It burns beautifully. I love this one in my kitchen or in the bedroom because it just adds just a clean element without being laundry. It's like sweet ocean. Perfect. Perfect for this weather. I almost say there's like a tiny bit of melon in there, just a tiny bit to add a little bit of sweetness to the fragrance, but... If you like fresh aquatic fragrances without being cologne you have to try the Freshwater Sea. I love that one. Then we have Blackberry Arugula. Now, she actually just tweaked this one a little bit, so it now has more blackberry in it. I did purchase it before and I liked it. Now, if you are into vendor wax like I am and you love blackberry, this is like super, super fresh blackberries. The arugula just adds a little bit of earthiness, not overpowering, but oh, I love this fragrance. If you love blackberry, like I said, fruity, sweet, almost jam-like, mixed with the greenness of the arugula, it is perfect. Love blackberry arugula. And then the last one, I did purchase, it is in her old packaging, and it is Tough Cookie. So she does offer some gourmand fragrances as well. And Tough Cookie, it's just that it's like a cinnamon sugared cookie, but it almost feels like you just took them out of the oven and then you sprinkled a little bit of nutmeg on top. I think that is what sets this cookie fragrance apart from the rest is that little bit of nutmeg. If you love a little bit of spice, not overpowering, oh, you have to try this. This is it's a beautiful. I love it, and I had to get the big size because I love burning bakery all the time. Next, let's move on to the B Elixirs line. Now, I did purchase a full size in the B Elixirs line, and I also purchased a Discovery set. Now, what's nice about the Discovery set is for $40, you get three mini versions of the B Elixirs line, and this one includes Liquid Amber, Magnolia, and Vetiver Hinoki. Now, the B Elixirs line states, B Elixirs Aromatherapy Candle Line offers pure plant wax infused with botanical ingredients and complex quality perfume fragrances in a natural base. This aromatherapy product utilizes essential plant oils, making sure not to deplete an abundance of the plant's life, thus creating a therapeutic atmosphere for the mind and body. This artfully crafted candle is hand poured in Ohio. So love that. Super awesome. And one of the candles in the little mini set is Liquid Amber, but I did get that in the full size. And Liquid Amber is Labdanum, Benzoin, Tonka, Saffron, and Aged Cognac. I love this line. Super pure. This really fits with that aesthetic that everybody goes for in their home. Even though they're homemade and hand poured with love in Ohio, it really feels like a luxury candle. Now this candle is a 65 hour burn time. Look at your Bath & Body Works candles. See the burn time on those. This is such a great value. They're a lot more pure and fresh, but this one, the Benzoin mixed with the Tonka, it's very smooth, very earthy and woody-like. It's so pretty. Now the Cognac, you definitely can pick up a little bit of that like warm, like warming down your throat alcohol note. It's so pretty. And I, with the name Liquid Amber, I'm picturing like those basic like amber candles. This is not, this is very rich, warm, decadent. Without being like bakery, this is a total nighttime candle. Oh, I love this. It's so pretty. I cannot wait to burn these. And like I said, 
All of her candles make me super, super happy, so I'm always happy to have more in my collection. And now, for the Discovery set, I'm gonna go ahead and open this guy right up for you. Oh, it opens this way. Oh, there's a little card in here, and it talks, um, it talks all about the candles and the notes on them. It says, a gift for you. I love. And then inside here has the three candles. So we already talked about liquid amber. Next, we'll talk about magnolia. Now, magnolia says creamy magnolia blooms, grapefruit, freesia, and tuberose. Now, these are super cute. They have a 20 hour burn time. Now, these would be the perfect size for a bathroom sitting like next to your bathtub. I love. Oh, that's really pretty. I didn't smell these beforehand. Oh, that's interesting. It's definitely floral. It definitely leans more towards that white floral. Speaking like magnolia. I pick up on tuberose and freesia the most. The grapefruit is definitely in the background. Gives you like that citrusy zing. It's really pretty. If you like a white floral, magnolia would be for you. And these are all available in the full sizes too. And then, I know this one was one of Melissa's favorites. This is Vetiver Hanoki. And this says, Hanoki wood, I'm not sure what that is. Cypress, wild geranium, vetiver, and patchouli. And I know there's actually quite a few of you who are watching who love patchouli. I like patchouli in blends. I can't do it on its own. And this is really cool. This is definitely spicy. What am I... Vetiver. Yeah, I definitely get the vetiver, which vetiver to me is kind of like a more spice, men's cologne, citrus type of fragrance. So it is like a citrus scent, but a little spiced, almost turned into men's cologne. So if you like more masculine, more earthy fragrances, especially tied with the patchouli and whatever Hanoki wood is, totally, it's really pretty. Oh, I wish I would have gotten this in the full size. Next, there's always next time. And like I said, I might even take advantage of my 10% off and order some more because I love having her candles. In my house, I was down to my last one, which as you can see, it's Donut Shop. I don't believe that's available now, but lit in the background here just because I love the way that her candles burn and it's fun to have it in the background. Moving on to her signature collection. I do have four. Now I'm only gonna briefly smell them because they're sealed. So she works with a letter pressing company who letter presses the 1820 on her candles. It's a coaster and it's double wicked, white wax, and then she puts a sticker with her branding over top. Now the first one I picked up was a roasted coffee bean. I'm obsessed with her coffee. I've had this one before and then I picked up a new coffee fragrance from her this time, but the roasted coffee, it smells just like that, plain and simple. You walk into a coffee shop and they're hand roasting, well not hand roasting, but they're roasting and grinding fresh coffee beans. It's so pretty. I love the scent of coffee. And I have I have some stomach issues, so I can't really drink coffee. I get really, really sick. So having it in a candle, amazing. Oh, so pretty. And then vanilla santal and coffee bean. I was super intrigued by this one. You get creamy, creamy vanilla with roasted coffee right off the bat. So you smell like a really creamy cappuccino. Then the santal, which is sandalwood, hits you. It's like a very creamy, woody vibe. I almost say this would smell like you were drinking coffee in a high-end coffee shop that just got like brand new tables, like very nice high-end wood tables. If you want to capture a very like upscale vibe when company's coming, this vanilla santal and coffee bean is totally the vibe. It's amazing. And both of these are repurchases, leather and tobacco. I've been in a really like masculine fragrance mood lately. I think like I'm redecorating my new place or decorating my new place and I'm doing a lot of industrial looks, especially with the living room. And I want like a leather armchair and I want like that very industrial look. And I feel like the perfect fragrance for that industrial look is leather and tobacco. And this smells like you walked into a leather shop, which I know some people don't love that. To me, it just fills the room just enough. I've burned this one plenty of times, but the tobacco is like a sweet tobacco. So you get a little bit of this more depth, almost like a sweet, like, yeah, like a sweet 
like you rubbed or like cleaned, conditioned the leather with uh, like sweet tobacco cleaner. It's crazy. Oh, I love this one. Always a repurchase. Now, this last one holds a special place in my heart because it's the first fragrance I ever purchased from her, and it is called Cashmere. Now, if you're looking on the website, it's spelled K-A-S-H-M-I-R. So it's like Cashmere. But I remember purchasing this one eight years ago in her, in her Christmas line. If you love those, like, woolen blankets fragrances, those fuzzy sheets, anything that captures comfort, especially when it's colder out, cashmere is 100% for you. It is one of my favorites. It's a very soft fragrance. I'll say that. It is a soft fragrance. It's not going to blow you out of the room, but it fills the room. It just makes it feel sweet and just comforting. And that's why I love this one. This is such a beautiful, beautiful scent. Oh, obsessed. Love, love, love. It is a very sweet fragrance, but like I said, it has that comforting ability to it, too. Oh, absolutely. I could recommend two fragrances for you to pick up. Freshwater Sea, absolutely. Honestly, the vanilla Santal and coffee bean, incredible. And then I feel like you just got to throw in the Love is Love Baby candle just because, you know, it's Pride Month. And you got to celebrate and support the incredible community. I, I love them. So... Anyway, super excited. Again, use the code DREW10 for 10% off your purchase now, which is Monday through Sunday, so you have an entire week to use that code. If you do, let me know what you guys pick up. I hope you enjoyed. Definitely try out the candles, and I'm excited to make some more candle content here on YouTube. I know it's where my original subscribers and my longtime people are coming from, and I have a lot of wax. I review a lot of wax. I melt a lot of wax, but I also love my candles, and having a big open space all to myself, it does really feel good to have those candles. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll leave her website, the, co the code, and her Instagram down below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Make it a better world. Love one another. You matter. Bye, guys.